Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Moving beyond the long tail, Wired editor and author Chris Anderson is now pondering the economics of advertising on micro social networking sites. In keynote remarks at the Media Bistro Circus in New York, he detailed his frustrations with his own DIYDrones.com microsite, which is about reconnaissance drones. I'm getting $7 CPMs, okay? Generic social networking, 20 cents, and I'm getting $7. The problem is, that, is, is, the, is the great paradox, which is the highest effectiveness is at the lowest volume, which means that I've, cre I've now spent, you know, you know, sort of, you know, an embarrassing amount of my, the hours of my day working on a site that generates $380 a month in AdSense. How do we turn this into something that generates real absolute numbers that moves the needle? And the only answer to that is to do more of them and to scale. So it requires less of me and more of the community itself. And now some surprising news from Microsoft. Ad Age Digital Editor Abby Clausen is at the software giant's headquarters in Redmond for the annual advertising summit. Microsoft has a very interesting piece of news out today, which is it's trying a very unusual tactic to lure more people to its search engine. It's going to pay them. Theory sounds pretty simple. You use Microsoft's live search to find a product. You buy the product and Microsoft will give you a percentage of the product's price back in cash, compliments of live search. In reality, it's a little bit more difficult. Users actually have to create an account and only certain products are eligible. But it gets at a larger issue for Microsoft, which is growing its search query share. This is priority number one for Microsoft and its search business and it's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons that Microsoft attempted to acquire Yahoo. Who knows if paying users will create long-term loyal users of live search, but it looks like in the meantime Microsoft is willing to try putting its money where its mouth is. The Cable Show asked some of the industry's top executives to explain how enhanced TV and advanced advertising systems were going to work. Here's a vision of Comcast's Charlie Thurston. It's a very well targeted addressable ad that's relevant to the viewer. The viewer is going to interact with it somehow by clicking on it, telescoping somewhere to either long form, which is stored in VOD, DVR, view that longer form product, and then click to get more information, a catalog, get a phone call from a sales rep, um, order the product. And while all that's happening, the data is building up so that when we again send that next ad, to that household, it's even gonna be smarter based on the behavior from that last experience. And that's it for this three minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.